Road to GH will reveal some exciting information on Monday, October 7, 2024. First, while Lulu's family and friends are drowning in deep concern, all eyes are fixed on Lucky's health. Everyone understands that his decision to donate part of his liver to Lulu is an extraordinary act of love, but the biggest question remains, is Lucky's liver truly suitable for this high-risk surgery? The doctors had to conduct a series of complex tests to evaluate Lucky's liver, leading to an intense and stressful waiting period. However, at the last minute, good news arrived. The test results showed that Lucky's liver was a perfect match for Lulu's transplant. The doctors immediately made arrangements so that Lulu could undergo surgery as soon as possible. The hospital atmosphere quickly shifted from worry to intense focus as the medical team prepared with determination for the procedure. The surgery lasted for several long hours with everyone outside the operating room sitting in anxious silence, holding their breath as each minute passed. Finally, the doors opened and the doctor delivered the joyful news. The surgery was a success. Lulu not only received the liver transplant in time, but also had a great chance at a full recovery. This success brought not only a renewed hope for Lulu's life, but also immense happiness for her family and friends, especially Lucky, who selflessly sacrificed for his sister. Second, after the successful surgery, Lulu gradually woke up in the quiet stillness of the recovery room, with soft light streaming through the window, creating a warm atmosphere. Around her, familiar faces were present, their eyes filled with concern, but also brimming with love. Although Lulu's health remained fragile, she could feel the warmth of her family's love surrounding her. She smiled faintly as she saw everyone standing by her bed, and their loving and reassuring expressions brought her an overwhelming sense of peace. In addition to Lucky, other loved ones were also there, all overjoyed that Lulu had overcome such a dangerous moment. Though her body was still weak and she couldn't speak much, Lulu could feel immense happiness inside. It wasn't just the relief of being alive, but the complete sense of family love, where she had always been cherished and protected. Every hug, every smile from her loved ones was like a wave of energy, giving Lulu the strength to keep going. She realized that no matter the physical pain she had endured, the love of her family was what had helped her overcome it all. Third, after hearing Carly's growing concerns recently, Sonny deeply sensed her exhaustion and anxiety. He knew Carly was always strong, but the problems they were now facing had reached a different level of severity. Sonny tried his best to reassure her, gently soothing her worries with his familiar warm voice, telling her that everything would be all right. He promised they would find a solution, but that didn't completely ease Carly's fears. Carly wasn't someone who gave in easily to challenges, but this time she understood just how big the risks were. She wanted to help Sonny, to stand by him as she had so many times before, but she wasn't willing to sacrifice her freedom. Forging an alibi for Sonny was beyond Carly's limits. She knew that if she got involved in this, the consequences could be severe, potentially landing her in jail, something she absolutely could not accept, especially as things had become increasingly tense. Carly faced Sonny, her eyes filled with both worry and determination, and she made it clear that she wouldn't put herself in that kind of dangerous position. She loved Sonny and was willing to do whatever she could to help him, but forging evidence was too risky. Carly understood that if she got caught, it would seriously affect her family and children, something she could never allow. Lastly, Chase and Brooke Lynn had agreed that no matter how difficult the situation, they needed to find every possible way to comfort and support Violet. Both understood that Violet was dealing with deep emotional pain after realizing that Finn, the person she loved and trusted the most, might never return. They feared that without timely help, Violet's mental state would worsen, leaving scars that would be difficult to heal. To protect Violet's fragile heart, Chase and Brooke Lynn did everything they could to make her happy. Together, they created fun memories, telling her warm and loving stories. Brooke Lynn used her musical talent to sing for Violet, while Chase frequently played with her and took her on walks through the garden, a place where Violet could momentarily forget her sadness. They constantly ensured that Violet felt the warmth and care of her family. Every hug and smile Violet received came from their boundless love, 
with the hope that she would always feel safe and protected from further hurt. Both Chase and Brooke Lynn agreed that no one would tell Violet about Finn's inability to return, at least not for now. They wanted Violet to live in peace, shielded from the negative emotions that could harm her innocent and tender soul. While they couldn't replace Finn in Violet's heart, Chase and Brooke Lynn were determined to do everything they could to ensure that she would always be surrounded by love, not having to face another devastating loss. Music